Facts and figures vouch for the substantial improvements in the people's welfare and quality of life over the 75 years since the People's Republic of China was founded. And when it comes to people's well-being, one indicator is life expectancy. And China used to have one of the lowest in the world, but the changes over 75 years have been drastic. With living standards and healthcare improving, the average life expectancy in China has increased from 35 years in 1949, that was when New China was founded, to 78 in 2023, now amongst the highest in the world. The country is also seeing the lowest mortality rates, with figures falling to 15 for every 100,000 pregnant women and 4.5 per thousand live births. Oh, in 1949, China's per capita disposable income was just a meager 49 yuan. That's about seven US dollars. Today, this figure tops more than 39,000 yuan or some five and a half thousand US dollars. And through the years, China has been working hard to create jobs for its labor force whilst developing its economy. The country's 2023 employment figure stands at 740 million. That's approximately the combined population of Europe. In the past decades, China has also built the world's largest social security system and health care system. More than 95 percent, that's about 1.3 billion people in China, are covered by the National Basic Medical Insurance Program. The number of medical institutions expanded from less than 4,000 to now well over 1 million. From just one bed for 1,000 people in 1965 to now more than seven beds per thousand. In the year 2000, China established a catalog of over one and a half thousand medicines covered by insurance. And as of 2023, that list has doubled, reducing the cost burden on patients. When it comes to living conditions, China's per capita housing construction area for urban residents quadrupled from over eight square meters in 1949 to more than 40 square meters in 2023. And China has also laid out a plan to continue improving people's well-being. And these measures include raising the share of personal income, promoting full employment, boosting the availability of quality medical resources and developing elderly care programs and industries.